Beer is one of mankind's greatest creations, so not enjoying it properly is a real shame. First off, you always want to pour beer into a glass before drinking it, because the aromas in the head allow you to taste the beer the way it is meant to be tasted. You can't get a proper head if you're drinking from a bottle or a beer can, so you won't be enjoying the beer to its fullest potential. In this video, we'll show you the best technique to get the perfect pour out of a tap, a bottle, and a can. The head of the beer comes from the formation of CO2 bubbles, which happen when liquid CO2 comes out of solution in the beer and is converted to gas. This process is called nucleation. Controlling the rate of nucleation is what will give you the perfect amount of head in your glass. Start with a fresh glass without any dust or scratches. Many people think it's a good idea to use a frosty mug, but that will only speed up nucleation, causing the beer to flatten faster and the aromas to deaden more quickly. Instead, start with the glass rinsed with cold water. Never use a hot glass straight from the dishwasher. Warmer beer will cause foam issues, not to mention taste terrible. No matter what you're pouring from, start with the glass at a 45 degree angle and pour it into the side of the glass. Nucleation is determined by a few factors, how aggressively you pour and the temperature of the beer, but most importantly, the angle at which you are pouring. For the perfect pour, you'll want an inch to an inch and a half of head on your beer. We'll start by pouring from the tap to demonstrate the pouring technique. Open the faucet fully. A partially open faucet will contribute to foamy beer. Tilt the glass 45 degrees and fill it about three quarters of the way, making sure to keep the head small. For the last fourth of the pour, start tilting the glass straight up to form the head. This will give you the proper aroma and make your beer taste delicious. Don't swirl the glass while pouring. The pour may look right and give a decent looking head to the beer, but it will quickly disappear and go flat. Do not over pour the beer. It costs more money and ends up aerating it incorrectly. Lastly, don't let the faucet touch the glass. Beer residue as well as outside bacteria on the faucet can contaminate the beer. Pouring from a bottle uses the same technique as pouring out of the tap. You wanna make sure that your beer is down to the desired serving temperature before pouring. So giving it time to cool down in the refrigerator is recommended. Again, start with a glass freshly rinsed with cold water and try to keep the bottle from touching the side of the glass as the outside of the bottle may contain bacteria, but try to keep it as close to the glass as possible. Tilt the glass 45 degrees and fill it the same way as done from a tap, finishing with an inch to an inch and a half of head. This next trick prevents beer from glugging out of a can when you pour it. Like always, start with your rinsed glass. When you pour it, you will turn the can 90 degrees and pour the same way you did the bottle. Open the can. Hold the glass 45 degrees. Then straight up. And notice how little it glugs. We really hope these techniques helped you to get that perfect pour. If you'd like to help us out, give this video a thumbs up. Is there anything you would add or do differently to get the perfect pour? Tell us what you think in the comments below. If you really like this video, subscribe for more homebrewing videos. 